Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm talking about all things food from a very special place, Santo Domingo. Maybe you're planning a trip there soon, or maybe you are already there. So here's a list of places to make it easy on you. Let's start with breakfast. Mangu is the best known Dominican dish. Mangu is essentially smashed plantains with sauteed onions, fried cheese, salami, and eggs. I am seriously salivating right now because I am Dominican and I grew up eating mangu. It is so good. <laughs> My friend took me to La Linda and they had mangu on the menu. So of course I ordered it and they did not disappoint. Okay, you got breakfast now. Where to next? I'm about to go eat mofongo, which is an amazing dish plantains and pork and usually with shrimp because I'm a shrimp lover if you guys do not know that we are going to one of the best places in the Dominican Republic so if you're ever in Santo Domingo you want to eat mofongo which I highly recommend it go to Adrian Tropical so good crunchy that garlic flavor it hits the spot I'm still thinking about this mofongo because Adrián Tropical is my favorite. Now you got breakfast covered, lunch covered. It's time for some dinner. Buche Perico is the cutest restaurant in the Colonial City. The Colonial City is one of my favorite districts in Santo Domingo. Fun fact about Buche Perico is that it used to be an old foundry and now it's a restaurant slash greenhouse. Those vegetables on your dishes were produced in the restaurant. My experience there was super pleasant. The food was also really good. My favorite dishes were the juca balls and the churrasco satay. The passion fruit and pigeon pea salad was pretty impressive. It definitely surpassed my expectations. Unfortunately, the shrimp was not my favorite. After that, if you want to hit the nightlife scene in the colonial city, they have so many options from chill scenic strolls to rooftop bars. There are so many places for you to dance the night away. If you're now feeling super adventurous and want to take a quick road trip and eat yummy food, you have to head to Bonao which is a small town just an hour away from the city. They have one of the best restaurants in the country and it's Tipico Bonao. They serve amazing Dominican dishes. We decided to make a pit stop and grab a sweet potato that they sell on the streets because that's what you do. While on the road, you will notice several street vendors and you just have to stop and get the full Dominican experience. This is the spot. They've been around since 1962, and it's typically a spot where locals stop at to eat when they're traveling from south to north. I'm thinking about that food right now. I want it. Save some room for Miguelina, which is super close to Tipico Bonao. You're probably asking yourself by now, how do we still have room? But when you're near Miguelina, you just have to save room for them because they have amazing pastries. Their desserts are so good. We are about to enter one of the most amazing pastry places here in Dominican Republic. Honestly, I am so happy that we're coming here. It wasn't really planned, so as soon as we realized that we were going to pass by, I'm like, we have to go. Because I loved stopping there when my family and I traveled north to visit my family. You know what's the interesting fact about them? The bathrooms for some reason are really, really clean and smell so good that you like remember. When visiting the Dominican Republic, you will notice it's all about the food. We're now checking out one of the trendiest spots in the city called the Garden Food Truck. They have so many different cuisines, Italian, Mexican, Japanese, Dominican, and if you have a sweet tooth, they have Nutella pastries for you. I hope 
hope you book a trip to Santo Domingo soon because it's an affordable city with amazing food. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next Thursday. Bye-bye.